So again, returning. Know that each opportunity brings with it strong temptation to listen to self-will. Each opportunity is self-will calling out to be listened to. And so, each opportunity must be a time of quiet focus on what you truly want. Do not take any opportunity lightly. Do not brush them aside. Look at each one. Actually, I want to stop there. As my daughter would say, rewind. (laughs) There's two sentences here that I don't want to take lightly. (laughs) The two sentences are, do not take any opportunity lightly. Do not brush them aside. There is a temptation in us to, I'm going to call it, blow something off, which is not exactly the same as forgiveness. I might feel mildly annoyed, mildly annoyed. I'm not completely obsessed with my pain like when the teacher seemed to lie or when I got very sick at conferences. When you're completely completely caught up in pain, it's, it's hard to ignore what's going on. But if you're mildly annoyed, you can just kind of blow it off. That's not the same thing as forgiveness. If you are mildly annoyed, there's something to see. And if you don't see the error in your mind, and you're just blowing it off without having seen the error in your mind, you may return to a feeling of peace, but you have not experienced a healing. So even mild annoyance is an opportunity to say, what's going on in my mind? If I just say, ah, forget about that, and go on, I haven't really missed an opportunity because I promise it's going to come back. (laughs) But I didn't seize the opportunity while it was there. So Holy Spirit is saying, do not take any opportunity lightly. Do not brush them aside. That's because we do that all the time with the milder annoyances. We might as well take advantage of the mild annoyances, then maybe they never have to grow to the great pain, right? So if I'm even mildly annoyed, mildly frustrated, mildly feeling put out, I can ask Spirit what's in my mind. Because if I'm upset to any degree, it's an opportunity to let go of the ego. All right, so with that said, I'm going to begin this paragraph again. Know that each opportunity brings with it strong temptation to listen to self-will. Each opportunity is self-will, calling out to be listened to. And so each opportunity must be a time of quiet focus on what you truly want. Do not take any opportunity lightly. Do not brush them aside. Look at each one and see the options that are set before you, and then choose with your heart. Letting go of self-will will seem extremely difficult at times, but be grateful for these times, for these are the times in which you seem to grow the most. And this is the paragraph I paused at last time, and I feel to pause again because... Because I want to say how worth it it is. The reason we don't do this practice is because it is hard, because it seems extremely difficult at times, because the situation seems to be causing pain. You know, I'm reminded now of the movie Revolver, which I think some of you probably know is my favorite movie. (laughs) Because in the movie, Jake Green let's go of his ego, and we get to witness that. Jake Green's two teachers are teaching him about the ego before he lets go of it. You have to learn about the ego. You have to see it before you can let go of it. So they're teaching him about the ego. And they tell him, the ego hides behind your pain. That is such an important sentence. What does that mean? That means we feel pain and we turn and run. We do anything not to feel the pain. And the ego stays in place. I have 
never, to my knowledge, experienced a complete healing without also experiencing some degree of pain or discomfort. Because the pain or discomfort is something I made through my belief in the false belief. I made it. It's there. Now what I want to do is I want to let myself experience it without believing it again. And this is what sets me free. But if I'm too afraid to let myself experience any pain or discomfort, the ego can just sit behind that wall and giggle because it's safe. It's so safe. And as long as the ego is safe, there's going to be fear, there's going to be grievance, there's going to be sorrow. So by avoiding pain or by thinking I'm avoiding pain, I avoid nothing. I keep it. This is why Jesus tells us in the Course that you walk through the darkness to the light. So this paragraph I just read says, Letting go of self-will will seem extremely difficult at times. But be grateful for these times. And I want to echo that from my heart, out of love, as a witness. As someone who's walked through this dark tunnel many times and knows that it's worth it. Like I said, it's worth it to be free of even one false belief. Every time we let go of one, we have a true total healing. Every time we're happier, we're clearer, we're more aware of the love that we are, each and every one of them. So letting go of self-will will seem extremely difficult at times. But be grateful for these times. For these are the times in which you seem to grow the most. And then hold.